Hello everyone and welcome to a new little mini series on the channel in which we are going to do the Planet Zoo career time challenges. But why are you doing these now? These have already been out for, I don't know, a couple of months. Well, for a very good reason. With the new update there will be new statues in the game which you can unlock with the uh, with the bronze, silver and gold star in the career mode. So we already are or we are already doing the uh, career mode live streams and um, I didn't do the time challenges yet. So I decided to make a little video out of them. So it's going to be a speed build video, but the speed builds videos are going to be a little bit different. As you can see, uh, the speed is only uh, four times. Uh, like I only speed it up four times and usually I speed it up six to seven times. I really hope that you guys are able to follow along and can see what I'm doing in the menus and uh, it's a little experiment so in the end of the video please let me know down in the comment section if it helped you yes or no so i will show you the gameplay and in the meanwhile i'm just gonna explain to you what i'm doing and things that you have to keep in mind while doing these time challenges so we are doing the time challenges on easy uh, difficulty and that's the only thing you have to do for the statues to be unlocked so it's uh, it's no use to Start doing these challenges on hard mode or medium or whatever. It will only make your life even more difficult. And uh, I think easy mode, you have one and a half hour for these <laughs> time challenges. And I think that's challenging enough for, uh, for now. So first off, I start with the, um, with the staff buildings. It's uh, very important that you locate the staff buildings in a good position. So you can start building some habitats around it. Some things you don't have to forget in the beginning are donation boxes. So you really have to keep in mind the money income. Um, as you can see, I just ad adopted a few African buffaloes. And um, yeah, these animals are quite uh, yeah, easy to work with. They don't need a lot in their habitat. As you can see, they need a little bit of water and um, some enrichment items. And that's it. In this time scenario, it's the first one, by the way. It's uh, called Bogged Down. And um, yeah, it's basically, it's, it's, I think it's located in Estonia, something like that. It is like a river uh, surrounding the area and you will have to make a, a zoo in there. And uh, there are a few things you have to accomplish in that one and a half hour, I almost forgot. Um, you have to build a riverboat transport ride of 600 meters. Uh, you have to have at least 10 different habitat species in the park with an overall welfare of 85%. Have at least four different exhibit species in the park and achieve an overall zoo rating of three out of five. Then in the end you will have to have at least 1300 guests in the zoo and a yearly profit of $10,000. Um, this one it's quite an easy one so it's the first one but still I, it took me like one and a half hour to accomplish this one and um, it was actually a first go so there might be a few things that maybe people uh, have some tips or whatever it might be easier than the stuff that I did I was still experimenting a little bit with this one um, but I still decided to, to make the video anyway because I by now I finished uh, most of them I only have to record the last one um, so I have a bit more experience with the time challenges uh, while I'm uh, recording this voice over so the exhibit species, a uh, really good thing to start with. I already put down two exhibits and uh, put some exhibit animals in there. They will start breeding. You can sell them, you can earn more money and uh, you all will also earn some money out of the uh, of the donation boxes, of course. Um, good thing to keep in mind. You don't want to do a lot of terrain work or whatever. So make sure you use the terrain that you already have. For example, this part. It's perfect to, um, to put some flamingos in there and the combining animals is also a really good thing to keep in mind. For example, I just put the warthogs and the African buffaloes together in one habitat. And in the end, I will um, combine the flamingos together with the tapirs within the, in a different habitat, of course, because um, I didn't think about it yet. But in the next scenarios, I will just start off with putting the flamingos and tapirs together and um, it already puts the counter on two instead of one and you only have to build one habitat so it saves you a lot of time a lot of space and uh, it just makes your life a lot easier 
Um, so the staff buildings, uh, make sure you put down everything. I forgot to put down the electricity and the, uh, the, the water cleaning system. So make sure in the beginning that you put down the electricity. Make sure you have all the staff members that you need. Put one keeper, one mechanic, one vet and one caretaker down. And uh, basically you will get a pop-up message for a, uh, for a guard. You don't really need that in the beginning. Uh, but if you have enough money, you can hire the guard as well. The pathing in this uh, scenario is a bit of a struggle. I, one of the first things I did was remove the path that was already in there. So the elevated path, put it back down on the ground and uh, it will make your life a lot easier. Otherwise you will have to start working with elevated path and nobody likes that. I, I, at least I think nobody likes that in this, uh, in this game. It's a, it's a bit of a struggle. So I was building the third habitat which will be for the crocodile what I decided not to put them in yet because the crocodiles are really expensive to feed basically all carnivores in this game um, the food for them is really expensive so you want to keep those for the very end so I decided to make this little habitat first for the uh, giant tortoise and uh, do a little bit of terrain work make sure you choose the easy animal so uh, just a little shelter space here and there some enrichment items and uh, yeah basically that's it for them again you don't have to do any research in this scenario and um, make sure you set up the work zones uh, that's one thing that is a very important uh, what i usually do in franchise i put one keeper and one mechanic for each habitat i started off doing the same thing in the scenarios but in the end you can set up the um work zones with one keeper one mechanic for two habitats and sometimes even three when you put it in in the right way i think that's very important you can save a lot of money with it and uh, yeah that's basically what it's all about you will have to earn that ten thousand dollars yearly profit in the end and uh, zoo rating that's one of the things that we also have to keep in mind and with that it's also very important you put down the education stuff so I'm putting bins all around and putting benches all around. Make sure uh, you use the recycle bins. That's one mistake I did in this. Uh, again, again I, I did make quite a bit of mistakes, but still we, we got it in the end. So if you're struggling with this one, if you follow the video, you will still be able to get everything in the end. Uh, raise your prices for the toilets. I put it to 50 cents. Make sure you synchronize it. And uh, one thing I just did is put down a lot of these vending machines i think they are really handy for these kind of things because they don't use a lot of space in comparison to the shops and you will get a lot of income from them because uh, yeah people are thirsty they need to drink and uh, sometimes people are hungry so they need to eat and they will get something out of the vending machines in the end i will put down some shops somehow the prices in the shops are a little bit higher so you will get more profit um but yeah it, it all works fine so this, uh, the next habitat, I put the tapirs in and uh, as I already told you guys, I will combine them with the flamingos in the uh, in the end of the video. Um, yeah, there's not much to say about this one. Again, you will have to keep in mind the animal welfare, so you will have to do a little bit of terrain work. They need a little bit of water. I really don't care about how these habitats are looking. These, these are not my best builds. Yeah, I mean, some of you might disagree with that and think these are my best builds ever. Um, but I, yeah, personally, I don't think these, these are my best builds ever. Uh, you can easily, easily uh, remove the foliage they don't like with this little menu that we have right here. And just throw down a bit of foliage until the animals are happy. Of course, uh, I still try to make it look a little bit nice i don't know it doesn't look nice in the end but anyways enrichment items it's easy mode so they don't get bored with the enrichment items which is very nice and um, again i set up a little work zone for them and uh, yeah that's it for the tapers make sure you include uh, the vending machines also in one of the um one of the work zones because they break very very often and that's really annoying and it's also happening in Velua Zoo a lot and uh, I, I basically think it's very annoying so you have to make sure they are in your work zone that your mechanics will visit them every once in a while and uh, yeah that's it 
Um, as you can see, the exhibit animals started breeding. I had like 500 of these beetles in one exhibit. I, uh, I sold them all and uh, what you might have to do as well is release them into the wild because that will increase your conservation rating and that will help with your zoo rating as well. So you will have, I think you have four things that is like animal welfare or anim animal attraction. You will have marketing and you will also have conservation uh, which will help for your zoo rating. Uh, you can see your zoo rating in the left bottom with these little stars and you can also see that the uh, the guests are happy yes or no and uh, yeah stuff like that by the way if you have any specific questions about these scenarios or about the managing of your zoos or whatever you can always ask them um you can ask me directly in our discord channel i will put a link down in the description if you're not in there yet there are a lot of people that are currently playing these uh, time scenarios and that's also one of the reasons why i decided to start doing this because i heard a lot of people yeah i, I didn't do that yet and uh, they, they couldn't find any really good videos about it. So uh, that's why I decided to start making these uh, videos. Um, I also put the saltwater crocodiles in their habitat. I didn't do much about it. Uh, they don't need a lot. So yeah, that's why I chose them. And right now I will build a camel habitat. And yeah, the camels are one of the easiest animals to work with. You can throw them in. They don't need any shelter. They only want sand and rock. That's it, a couple of enrichment items and uh, they are all happy. So um, if you Google for like these time scenarios, you will always find a list of the animals that you can put in. Uh, I highly recommend checking those out. For example, if you can put camels in, use the camels. They are cheap, um, they don't need a lot and you don't really have to care about them and you don't have to spend a lot of time building a habitat for these animals. Again, uh, I don't care about how the uh, uh, habitats are looking or uh, yeah, how the zoo is looking. This is all about the speed and management in this, uh, in this time scenario. I put down the final exhibit. As you can see, I'm, uh, I'm basically planning out a little bit of the zoo. I also have to uh, build the uh, boat ride in the end, of course, uh, really important. So I have to Keep that in mind while I'm building this. I think this is one of the final habitats that I'm doing, which will be for the red panda. Um, also a really good tip for now is when you start making a profit in your zoo, if you see it in your yearly income, make sure you put the speed three times up. You will only get income faster and faster. That's something I forgot in the, uh, in the beginning of this uh, video. And sometimes you don't have enough money to buy some animals or to buy whatever you want. You will see it in the next scenarios. I will always put the speed up to three times. And in the end, I basically have like 200, 300 thousand dollars in the bank. And basically you can do whatever you want, which will save you a lot of time. And uh, that's what it's all about. For example, the, uh, the Australia scenario, I finished that one in like 50 minutes, um, basically because I knew what I was doing and that really helped a lot. The next one is a little bit of a struggle i had to redo that one two or three times i think um you sometimes you just have to be lucky but there's a little trick in the end that i will share with you in the uh, in the next video when uh, when the time is there if you're struggling with that time scenario especially with the yearly income there's a nice little trick in the end to uh, yeah to make sure you have enough income for the rest of the year so make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you don't miss out or if you don't want to miss out on uh, that one um some benches some bins again uh, there are a lot of exhibit animals and uh, right now i'm moving the flamingos to the uh, to the next habitat i put down their uh, uh, enrichment items i didn't want to buy them again so i just uh, yeah picked them up threw them in this habitat and um, i found out that the habitat was a little bit too small so i added this little water area for the flamingos they need a little bit more water and uh, that's why i added this part, it looks a little bit weird, so I, I try to uh, make it look kind of decent, of course. This is a horrible looking zoo in the end, but uh, yeah, that's not what it's about. Again, where you have like 500 beetles in one exhibit, um, I'm selling those and I will put some... Uh, uh, let me think. Oh, I will also sell the snakes. We also have like five uh, brown snakes in one exhibit, and I already... Um, 
bought some wild dogs so we will start on the wild dog habitat in one second i'm just checking out all the animals that we have um it's the, it's just one of the most important things in these game modes deciding which animals you're gonna put in so carnivores i will put them in at the very end because right now i have enough income to feed these animals so that's why i started off with like buffaloes and war dogs they are cheaper they are easy to maintain basically and that's why i decided to yeah use the carnivores in the end and i think that will uh, that's a little tip that will help you guys as well right now i will start on the final habitat which will be for the himalayan brown bear which is uh, yeah, a really simple one i think by now we are like one hour something in and uh, the only thing we had to do was uh, build the boat ride and that was it so i really hope this uh, video was useful for you Please let me know down in the comments if it was, if you want to see um, something else, if you want more tips, if you're struggling with a certain part that you yeah, want me to discuss in the next video. Again, this is a, just a little experiment if these kind of videos work with uh, yeah, these kind of time challenges or career mode. I know I'm doing the career mode in the live stream, but I don't have a lot of time for live streams. So I might do these kind of videos as well for the rest of the game in career mode. Please let me know if you would like to see that. Yes or no. So uh, I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. And uh, if you are not subscribed yet, make sure you do so you won't miss out on anything new. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. Goodbye and good luck with these time scenarios.